Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer for St. John's Lutheran Church of McGuanago. It is Tuesday, December 13th. Just a reminder about tomorrow's schedule. Morning Prayer will be in the church at um, 7.30 a.m. Uh, midweek Advent services, 3.45 and 6.30 p.m. with a meal in between. Um, we begin morning prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Hasten to save me, O God. O Lord, come quickly to help me. Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. Be merciful to me, O Lord, for I am faint. Heal me, for my bones are in agony. Turn, O Lord, and deliver me. Save me because of your unfailing love. Jesus said to his disciples, <clears throat> If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven. If you do not forgive them, they are not forgiven. There is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. I guess you would say I'm still a little bit um, excited over this this past weekend, um, the joy um, of baptisms, the joy of confirmations, um, the joy of welcoming um, new members. Uh, Romans chapter 10, St. Paul says, <clears throat> If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart one believes and is justified, and with the mouth one confesses and is saved. But the scripture says everyone who believes in him will not be put to shame. For there is no distinction between Jew and Greek, for the same Lord is Lord of all, bestowing his riches on all who call on him. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. And then he goes on to explain how that happens. You're not gonna you're not gonna call on his name unless you've heard, or whether you've believed, and you're not gonna believe rather if you haven't heard, and you're not gonna hear without someone preaching to him. So thanks be to God that we gather in a place where God has sent folks to preach. And thanks be to God that his children um, proclaim that word to those they love. Back to Sunday, <clears throat> one of the blessings I see of a new hymnal project, not just the hymns that we sing on a Sunday morning, um, that's probably what is first in your mind with a new hymnal, but all the auxiliary resources that come along with it, which allow us to take a new look um, at, at some of the, the orders, uh, you know, baptisms and marriage and and things that come along, confirmation and, and the, the right for welcoming new members. And this is certainly not to disparage the old way of welcoming new members. It's a very similar order than what we followed on Sunday. But I just want to point out <clears throat> the paragraph that I spoke to the congregation in both services was freshly written and it just really hit home so i i'm going to read it again so this is after we heard the the new members those adult confirmants and those transferring um confess their faith and their willingness to be a part of our family and and to do all they can with with and they ask god to help them um in in their in their walks of, of christian life um then i said to you as we welcome these new members to our Christian family, I encourage you in the name of Jesus to keep them in your minds, to hold them in your hearts, and to pray for them again and again. Show them the face of friendship and offer them a hand of support. Encourage them with your works of service so that the body of Christ may be built up, that we all reach unity in the faith and in the knowledge of the Son of God and become mature attaining to the whole measure of the fullness of Christ. That's a quote from St. Paul. I see four admonitions there. Keeping them in your minds, holding them in your hearts, praying for them, showing them the face of friendship. Here's a fifth one, I guess. Offering them a hand of support. Um, St. John's is a 
is a family. It's a large family, a family where um, it's really difficult, nay, impossible to know everyone. But especially as we think about those who are new to our family, my encouragement to you, in your minds, in your hearts, in your prayers, what does that look like to show them the face of friendship and offer them a hand of support? <clears throat> well, I think that looks uh, different in in different places in different ways. But but maybe it's you talk to Janet Brueger about being a one of our mentors, and uh, and maybe you talk to Carol Rudance about getting on the team that uh, that uh, delivers uh, meals to m new mothers and. Uh, and, and maybe it's your you, you you get to know what's going on in the preschool and the school or mornings with mommy and other childhood events. You talk to Tiffany Mill and how you can be a blessing there. But maybe showing them the face of friendship is a smile across the pew, or you pick up the kid's toy when it falls in church, or you 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 make room for a family um, in your pew, or you you grab someone in the entryway after church and. Hi, I'm John. I'm not sure we've met yet, and um, and and this is what the family of Christ does um, for one another. And those are just a few examples. This is a sincere prayer um, for those who are new to St. John's, and for those who aren't so new, that God would continue to bless our growing family coming together. Um, he has been so good to us um, with His word of blessing. He has poured out uh, innumerable blessings, far more than we deserve, on the ministry that we carry out here. And he's given us opportunities um, to welcome and to show love to one another, just as Christ has welcomed us. In the name of Jesus, amen. In the morning, O Lord, I call to you. Be merciful to me and hear my prayer. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, our Heavenly Father, almighty and everlasting God, you've brought us safely to this new day. Defend us with your mighty power and grant that this day we neither fall into sin nor run into any kind of danger. In all we do, direct us to what is right in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen.